Welcome to the Investor Insights Show. I'm your host, Scott Dillingham. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about who gets the rental property when you're going through a divorce. Uh, which spouse gets it? And I think it depends on how you guys set everything up. Um, so this is one of the key things that you need to consider when you're buying rental properties with somebody else, is you wanna make sure that you guys have an exit strategy in place and you've talked about things to make sure that if you do get a divorce, that you can sell properly, you know, with the goal of minimizing tenant, you know, disparity and issues there, um, because you don't want to bring the tenants in on your stuff, but sometimes you're forced to sell, right? Sometimes you have to. Um, so it's key that you set up in the beginning sort of guidelines or expectations of each other if you ever don't work out. So everybody knows and you've agreed on things now while you're in good shape uh, instead of at the end when you're, you're, you could be fighting. I hope today's Investor Insight was awesome. If you liked it, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Also down below is an article which will have a lot more details on this topic. Um, and the other links there are free investor tools and resources for you. Enjoy.